I guess I just wanted to address the beanie in the room as we check out some Tim Pool podcast cringe. Now here I am minding my own business as I usually do. And I occasionally weigh into the YouTube sphere and, and waddle my way around and check out what's going on. And uh, lo and behold, I see a title of a podcast that's live that says, This may be the last Timcast IRL ever. And if you ever wanted to hear a millionaire whine about being a baby, then maybe you should t <laughs> tune in to the Baby Beanie Cast with Tim Cass. I'm going to play you a little bit of it because it's so shocking. I feel so bad for Dave Landau. So normally the Tim Cast is, I guess, like a, a conservative-ish, uh, fence-sitting po political show. And they invited, like this show, they invited Dave Landau on, who's a, a pretty funny comedian. Used to be on the Steven Crowder show. And I guess I guess he's the show killer <laughs> because he shows up and uh, Tim's like, I don't want to do the show anymore because I'm a big giant baby. I have 2 million subscribers and I don't need any of you. First of all, I want to point out that uh, Tim Pool likes to lecture people about morality, yet the man is unmarried with no children. So that's always a red flag for me. Someone who wants to talk about family values, et cetera, et cetera. And I uh, remember he also got into a fight, if you recall, about spending money with, uh, he bought a skate park and the skate park people were unhappy with him and he, now he's whining about things and it's, well, maybe you shouldn't have bought a skate park, bro. But he'll explain some of this himself and then we will dissect exactly what is going on? We did make a previous video on why he should retire. And now he's coming around again and starting to become a pattern. And I feel like he's just screwing over his audience. So if you're a Tim Pool fan and you want to actually laugh, because he keeps whining about, oh, we tried to make a comedy thing and it failed. Well, maybe because you're not funny. And then he's like, oh, well, we tried to do Tim Pool music and nobody likes it. Yeah, because you're not a very good musician. You're an auto-tune singer. Like... It's okay. You don't have the the god level music skills that we have here at Orq, or or the rap game that we have, or the the metal game that we have. But let's hear directly from El Jefe himself, the CEO of Tim Pool Cast. Well, it's where it all began. Actually, it didn't begin here. It began in Jersey. But you know, where Raymond's hanging out too. What's up, guys? And actually, I wasn't. I was planning on not doing a show at all. But uh, but Dave's here. He traveled all the way here. I felt kind of bad that like all of this begins to happen right when he's showing up and i kind of was like oh man i might you know i don't want to screw dave over. you're five I've been, i'm good at ruining <laughs> shows so it's i'm perfect i'm a great guest for you and Ray raymond was also here too and i figured for the for what the conversation is going to be because this is not going to be a news show you know what i noticed I, i've caught a handful of, of clips from his show in the past i you know obviously it's election time seeing what's going on out there what are people saying left right center odd or indifferent and he doesn't like to talk that much anymore unless he's doing his own personal private show. So he has this show with all these guests and he's whining about like having to book guests and paying for their airfare and all this other stuff. And it's like, dude, you have a YouTube show. Why did you hire like 25 people? You did this to yourself. And then he's whining about hiring a CEO and having to have hr work standards because people don't do their jobs they don't do their jobs because you pay them to not do their jobs you know how you handle it you fire them you do the old you fired i figured it'd be good if you hung out because you you started as just like a fan of the show yeah and you super chatted every day and uh and then you came to work here and there's a handful of people here who are like that yep but uh me too yeah search yep. search as well and uh but you were sitting here already. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then no disrespect to Hannah Claire, who was here. But I Not to mention, he's that guy who also like screwed one of his business partners in the past. And I'm sure I don't know anything about what I'm talking about. Just like his sister is mad at him because, you know, he screwed her over and her, her family and talks about stuff that he shouldn't talk about. But I don't know anything. Just saying the man has a pattern. And I'm not going to make fun of his looks. Other than if he's a millionaire, 
really didn't want to shoot Fix do a show, teeth, so I bro. just said it probably would be better if you didn't work on the teeth. show tonight. And so apologies to Hannah Claire because you know she does a good job. But uh, yeah, I think this might be the end. This might Why? be the end. Um, cascade failure. Cascade failure. Uh, we are we are well off. It is not a financial thing. We make a lot of money, but uh, piece by piece. So now he doesn't want to make any money anymore. Okay. The 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 the, the structure becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until it becomes impossible to manage. And I feel like he is the same guy who walked away from a deal with um, Daily Wire or something like that, where they would have put in all the things where you didn't have to work that hard. And now you're like, I'm rich and I don't know what to do. Yeah. It's too and much that's, work. And that's kind of where, where we, uh, we hit today. So it's like there's a series of... You know, I'm not. I, I'd never call out anybody personally or you individually. Should. No, why no, 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 not? No, no. Right. There's also legal ramifications no, to insulting right. employees. <laughs> no, there's no legal ramifications to insulting employees. <laughs> I insult Noob Noob all the time. <laughs> but uh, I would just say that, like, compounding. Uh, I don't know. Um, laziness. Yeah. Yeah. That that builds up over time. Which adds more and more workload to, you know, me and Allison to get to the point where we're just like, can't do it. I guess Allison is his fiance or his girlfriend or something. And now he's just going to whine for the next however long about when I'm like working. And it's tough because we've, uh, this is, this is not, this is not a, um, the, for, for, for a lot of people, they're hearing this right now. Like, holy crap. Yeah. Why is this happening? I was like, oh, we've been talking about this for months. Yeah. You know, and then it's fascinating because like, you know, two months, three months ago, we're going over like finances and, you know, I'll, I'll break it all down for everybody. Uh, we, we, we do really well. Uh, our members, you guys seriously do sustain us. Yeah, but if you tell them you're not going to have a show anymore, they should all straight up subscribe, uh, unsubscribe. And this is a lot of banality. Like I've, I'm watching way too much of this. Uh, you guys can watch it for yourselves. I just wanted to point out that it's another millionaire whining about having to work too hard. And he's like, I could just buy myself a, a big... I could just stream from wherever I wanted and go drive around the country and... Be, 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 be. Fire all... Dude, I see... His, his show has like four or five people on it. And half of them are, are like unintelligent yokes. You know, and, and he even said himself... This guy used to super chat me all the time, and now he works on the show. And this other guy used to super chat me all the time, and now he works on the show. Bro, y y it's a one- or two-man operation. Maybe you get three. Listen to Rogan. Run it hot and tight. And uh, only hire, like, six or eight security guys, and that's it. That's all you need. And he's whining about having to quit X and all that stuff. He just sounds like a whiny baby. So that's it. Just wanted to point out, there's a whiny baby. We said he should retire last time, and he didn't do it. And now he's crying even harder. So he's a beanie baby. And I just wanted to point it out. I don't particularly care about his uh, views one way or the other. Uh, and, you know, the dude literally just interviewed Trump, and now he's whining. Because I guess other podcasts are doing better than... I don't know, man. Get your act together. Put some value to your life. Have a family... Don't work so hard and uh, don't have like eight shows. Oh, that's right. He was, he, yeah, because he was complaining about his his family comedy show. Y you don't spend like 10 years building up a channel. Oh, yeah, and his brother. There's an issue with his brother too. Let's just say he's not the nicest man on earth. So I have no sympathy. Do you have sympathy? Maybe you're a Tim Pool, Pool fan. Maybe you should have sympathy for the guy. Frankly, I don't care one way or the other. I just thought it was pretty ignorant and and pretty rude to his own fans to go like, we don't we we me show anymore. And then they just look a bunch of miserable sad sacks and poor Dave Landau, who is absolutely wonderful and cheerful. is just there to sit there in misery while he's talking about like how he's going to restructure his company and fire everybody. Loser. Anyway, thank you for listening to me rant about this sad sack and uh you know tell me to go stuff myself whatever you want me to do i shall do for the money make it a paper baby anyway thank you for listening do appreciate you love all y'all but i'm on to the next one
Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.